At one point in time, witchcraft was a thing that many people feared, so much so that it became a criminal offence. The Witchcraft Act was a law passed by Parliament in Great Britain in 1735. This law made it a crime for a person to claim that any human being had magical powers and was also guilty of practising witchcraft. After the law was passed, the hunting and execution of witches in Great Britain was abolished. Instead, the maximum penalty was a year's imprisonment. This law was presented to the House of Commons on the 27th of January 1735 by John Conduit, Sir John Cross, and George Heathcock. The only opposition that they had was that of a Lord James Erskine who fervently believed in the existence of witchcraft and because of his beliefs he was marked out to be an eccentric verging on insane by other members of Parliament. One of the most famous uses of this act was in 1944 when a Scottish medium called Helen Duncan was jailed under the Witchcraft Act on the grounds that she claimed to have summoned spirits and came to the attention of authorities after supposedly contacting the spirit of a sailor from HMS Barham, whose sinking was hidden from the public at the time. Her imprisonment could have been because of the threat that she may reveal plans for D-Day according to her followers. After being caught faking spiritual manifestation, she was arrested during a seance. She was sentenced with seven punishable offences, conspiring to contravene the Witchcraft Act, obtaining money by false pretenses and public mischief. She spent nine months in prison. The last person to be convicted under the Witchcraft Act of 1735 was a Jane York of Forest Gate, East London, in September 1944. She was convicted of seven counts of pretending to cause the spirits of a deceased person to be present. The last threatened use of an act against a medium was in 1950, and eventually in 1951 the Witchcraft Act was repealed with the enactment of the Fraudulent Medium Act of 1951. And with this it became lost in the memory, hopefully never to see the light of day again.